It is so much food. We got so much. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the latest installment of Things We Have at Home, But Different, AKA Nick and Allie Eat McDonald's in other countries. We're coming to you today from Chiang Mai, Thailand. We've been traveling for almost four months now. We thought it'd be fun to try McDonald's in a bunch of different countries. We did it several times in Europe, but this is gonna be our first time to try McDonald's in Asia. We've got a mix of things that I think are probably only in Thailand or Asian McDonald's and some other things to try that are more like what we have at home. This is gonna be the healthiest thing I've eaten in a long time. We are ready totally to kidding. feast. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with this thing because yep. it is just taunting me. This is fried chicken, there's some type of gravy and rice. And it's served on an actual plate, which I've only ever been served food on an actual plate at McDonald's. Yeah, that's at like, like, hey, pretty classy. Way to go, McDonald's. Cheers. Cheers. It's like a sweet chili sauce. Hey, the chicken's great. Dude, I mean, <laughs> I've never had rice at a McDonald's before, so this is awesome. White rice is like one of my favorite foods on earth. Like. There is nothing wrong with that. This looks like an actual vegetable mm -hmm. right here. I mean, obviously this is like chicken tenders, so you can only get yeah. so healthy Let's with that. Let's do, but. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's like crunchy, what, saucy. What is that, like some basil? Oh, it looks like basil. This is really good. Okay, that's great. I'll take that, I'd eat it. Mm -hmm. Let's go burger. So, the signature series, it's just like, a burger, but it's their signature burger, so I think it's supposed to be like better than the regular. It looks like it's got ketchup, mustard, pickle. The patty is a little bit thicker. She thick. <laughs> With two C's. Yeah. That looks, looks nice. The bun is real buttery. I mean, it tastes like if you like a standard McDonald's cheeseburger, which guilty pleasure for me. It just tastes like that with a better, more substantial meat patty and a very buttery bun. It is better in every way. Yeah, that's like a real cheeseburger. Oh, I'm excited about this. So, fried chicken. Yep. And we've had fried chicken before in our Slovenia McDonald's video. If you want to check that one out, you can click somewhere in one of these corners. But this one is sauced. It's called the Hato? Yep. Hato chicken. Hato barbecue. And it's only drummies, which I appreciate. It's a drummy. The little drummy? <laughs> <laughs> Move over, KFC. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. I probably got that all over my face. Mm, thank you. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to sit here and eat this for a second. It's a very meaty piece of chicken, mm -hmm. which I appreciate. So far, all the meat has been like generous with the meat. <laughs> if you'd like to watch other videos where two foolish Americans don't know how to pronounce things or say things, watch subscribe to our channel. Any of our videos. <laughs> okay, guys, this just came with our meal, but I feel like we owe it to eat it because we haven't had one. And it's classic. Come on, guys. The nugget. And this would be a good time to mention that there were two sauce options. Yeah. Um, in addition to the one they gave us over the counter, so like in the USA, you can go to the pump and get some ketchup. Well, here they had ketchup. They also had chili, which I think is just like kind of a sweet chili. And this one is a hot barbecue. Nugget. Tastes like I'm six again. I'm gonna try this barbecue. I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna see how their ketchup is different from ours. Try the ketchup. You're our family's ketchup connoisseur. Guys, if you've been keeping up with our McDonald's videos, you know. It's sweeter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that vinegary kick that mm -hmm. I'm used to. Yeah. I think the winner though is this sweet chili sauce. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. Cool. All right. Well, we demolished those. It was a four count, guys. Come on, I can eat that in my sleep. So, this was an impulse purchase at the end. Yeah, she like panic bought. It was like, oh, this. A ham and cheese pie. 
We all know that McDonald's pies are like world renowned, right? Can we agree to that? Like the birthday cake pie? I never got the pie Ooh, in the I USA. Pie? Never. Okay, so this is a ham and cheese version. I'm gonna let you taste it first. Is this like a McDonald's hot pocket? I think so. Sounds very crunchy. I don't taste ham or cheese. And the filling is like... Creamy? Well, you tell me. It's almost the consistency of what would be like a pot pie filling. It's oddly sweet. It's confusing. That is weird. I don't get ham or cheese. Yeah, there's like gravy, little bits of carrot. I think it's like the filling of what would be a pot pie, but in this crunchy crust. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's I don't just hate like, it. It just seems like false advertising. I like was not expecting that. I'm really curious about this one. Okay, yeah. So we'll eat this one now. We've got one more dessert that we'll try after we finish everything. But this one, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be sweet or savory. So we'll just go with it for now. Corn pie. So a lot of Thai desserts I see have like sweet corn. Mm, okay. Cheers. It also looks like it might have some cinnamon in the crust. What do you think? It's really good. It's like cream corn in a puff pastry. I'm not sure I'm into that. And it's weird because like in the States we would put cream corn like with an entree. But here like everything sweet corn is dessert based. It, but isn't it like it's like cream corn? You can have that. <laughs> That's not for me. It's pretty good. It's a, it tastes so much like corn. Okay. That's all the savory. We're gonna demolish this. Yes. And then we're gonna come back with our dessert option for the day. See you in a minute. <sighs> all right, savory is over. That was good. I probably went a little too far. Now for my favorite part, dessert. Okay, so I would dub the corn pie a dessert option. We haven't finished that yet. We went and got donuts, sweet and condensed milk. They're like, I don't even know how you describe that. Like a donut finger. <laughs> like a stumpy long john. It's like a short john. We also got a McFlurry, which we'll tell you the flavor about that when we try it. They smell like funnel cakes. Yeah. It's delicious. Sweet and condensed milk is so good, you can drink it. Wow. Like, that is, is just so completely bad. gratuitous and unnecessary. <laughs> it's so good. But when in Rome. <clears throat> our first McFlurry. Like we said in our Polish video, I believe that was the video that we said we needed some more McFlurries in our life. And pop the lid off that bad boy. I hope it doesn't go everywhere. This one is a very interesting flavor. Yuzu and Oreo. So Yuzu is kind of like a citrusy fruit here. And Oreo. No. Interesting. Wonder. So Nick loves Oreos. I do. Mmm. That's really it's very refreshing. It's almost like it's a lemon soft serve mm -hmm. with Oreo in it. Yep. But it's still sweet. The citrus isn't like overpowering. It's more fragrant than it is anything. Yeah, I, I would almost put it as like a, you know, if you ever, if you ever had a piece of like lemon pie. Mmm, like an icebox um, pie. Yeah, like, like that, but just with like some Oreo topping on it or something. Mm. That's sort of what it tastes like. That's exactly what it tastes like. Yeah, bam. Oh my gosh. That's so good. I love that flavor. Mm. That is really good. If you work at McDonald's in the U.S., let us know how we can request this flavor in the States. Yeah, is this a secret mm -hmm. menu item? Could I just bring like some lemons to McDonald's or something? <laughs> yeah, I'd like Oreo McFlurry, but could you put like a couple of teaspoons of lemonade in there? That's how I'd order it back home. Okay, let's get down to business. As we visited each of these McDonald's, we've uh, decided to assign them a ranking, which has proven 
kind of difficult at times. But, Allie, how would you rate Thai McDonald's? I recognize we only went to one McDonald's in Thailand, but speaking for the entirety of Thailand, how would you rate their McDonald's? I am gonna go with a seven. Wow, a seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. I really think everything was executed really well. There were a couple of things that we got that my expectations were maybe different than what we got, like the ham cheese pie. I really wish that it was like ham cheese, but it was more like <clears throat> a weird kind of gravy. The corn pie, in theory, sounds really good, but the further I got into it, the more I was like, Nuh. Yeah. Burger, excellent. That's true. The desserts, like the ice cream and the donut, excellent. That's, I think that's where I'm landing, seven. I think you just sold me. Like, mm -hmm. I was thinking a little bit lower than that, and I'll tell you mm -hmm. why. I I just don't see why you would come to McDonald's in Thailand. <laughs> like, we have, we have been eating delicious, healthy food every meal. Like, most days, we go to lunch and we get like a bowl of cow soy or something like that and for the like, equivalent of like two dollars. Yeah, this Our, was not cheap. It was 500 baht. It's not cheap, obviously it's not healthy, but I loved that. I loved the variety, and mm -hmm. I think that's been a big part of this experience. To your point, I was kind of taking for granted the execution. They executed mm -hmm. so well, which we, yeah. I mean, who hasn't had a terrible McDonald's experience? So, let's be brief. <laughs> I'm with you, seven. Seven, okay. Would eat a few of those items again. Would. Well, thank you guys for sitting and, again, watching a couple of Americans eat McDonald's in other countries. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can follow along. See ya.